Okay, welcome everyone. Today we're going to do a quick example problem on kinetic and potential energy. It's a really basic example of, of how we calculate each. Um, so here's the situation. We've got a 5 kilogram block which is released from rest at the top of a frictionless 20 degree ramp as shown in the figure. Now we're asked to determine the velocity of the block when it reaches the bottom of the ramp. Okay, so here's the idea in this problem. The idea is that we start with a certain amount of potential energy in the system, and because our ramp is frictionless, all of that energy has to be conserved in the form of kinetic energy or potential energy. Okay, so we're going to start just by calculating the potential energy of the block at the top of the ramp. And if we recall our formula, the potential energy is equal to the mass of the block times gravity times the height of the block. And we can see from our problem that the mass is going to be 5 kilograms. Gravity, as we know, is 9.8. It's just a constant. And then the height of the block to begin with is 4 meters. So that's what we're going to use for our h value. We're 4 meters above our final height when we reach the bottom of the ramp. So if we calculate this out, do 5 times 9.8 times 4, we start with 196 joules of potential energy. Okay, so all of that energy, those 196 joules, are conserved. So when we reach the bottom of the ramp, when our block gets down to here, right, it's no longer going to have any potential energy. We're going to be at a height of zero. So that means all of our energy is going to be in the form of kinetic energy, which means that our initial potential energy, call that PE initial, is equal to all of our final kinetic energy, KE final. That means we can say 196 joules is equal to our formula for kinetic energy which is one half times the mass times the velocity squared, where this is the final velocity. So now if we plug in a value for our mass here, we're going to have 196 equals one half times five times the velocity squared. And if we calculate this out and solve for the velocity, we will do 196 times 2 divided by 5, and then we'll take the square root of that, which will give us a final velocity of 8.85 meters per second. And that will be our final answer. Okay, so really kind of a simple example here, just showing how energy is conserved in a frictionless system, how we can convert between potential energy and kinetic energy. If you found this video useful, please let me know in the comments. 